Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Danica, and please remember I am not a dietitian, nor am I a chef, nor am I any kind of nutritional anybody. I'm just the lady that's trying to get eight to 10 cups of vegetables into her every day. Um, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Okay, today we're making tahini ranch dressing. Now, you need to put something on them eight to 10 cups of vegetables, so I figured, Dressing, good stuff. And I managed to find a dressing that did not have any oil in it. Well, no, no oil. So, this recipe calls for lemon juice, tahini, warm water, dill, chives, optional, I didn't have any, uh, Dijon mustard, this one is organic, prepared Dijon mustard, uh, onion, this one, and it says one clove of garlic pressed or half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I got the powder. And then sea salt, I've got Himalayan, and fresh cracked pepper. I've got pepper. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is in a small bowl, whisk together the lemon juice, tahini, water, dill, chives, if using mustard, garlic powder, and onion powder until well combined. So basically, throw everything in the pot. So, what we need is a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Look, I'm squeezing the lemon juice. quarter cup of tahini. Now the thing about tahini is it really it's sesame paste and basically the sediment gets to the bottom of the tahini. So what they suggest you do is to stir it up and mix it before you use it. So I have now stirred it up and shook it up and now I've stirred it up. So you just get all the sesame seeds and all the tahini goodness in there. And we need a quarter cup of tahini. Quarter cup. Sorry, using my fingers. Okay. We um, put in the tahini. Next. three tablespoons of warm water. I have warm water here. One. We'll put in two to start. And we'll put in three. It says three. Okay. So three tablespoons of water. Two tablespoons of dill. Tablespoons. That's one. And that's two. And already, so we've got two tablespoons of dill. What else? Chives, I don't have. Two teaspoons of Dijon. That's 
one. Okay, so we've added the Dijon. Now we need half a teaspoon of onion powder. I have onion flakes. Okay, so it's just half a teaspoon of onion powder. Salt and pepper. Then it says, in a small bowl, whisk together all the stuff. How much time? Ten seconds. So it says to whisk all of this together, uh, taste and season with salt and pepper as needed. Also, if the dressing is too thick for your liking, feel free to whisk in an extra tablespoon or two of water. I think this looks pretty good. It might be a little thick, so we will add another tablespoon of water. So there you have it. It says serve the dressing immediately or transfer to a sealed jar and refrigerate for, refrigerate for up to three days. Now, as I am fasting, I am going to get my son-in-law with a thumb, Steve, to taste the salad dressing and give you his opinion. What do you think, Steve? Oh, that's, that's good. Okay, so here you have it. Tahini ranch dressing. Uh, recipe is below. And you can put this on any kind of salad or you can use it as a... Um, uh, you can actually put this on some meat too if you wanted to fry the, um, bake this up and as a baster or whatever. Uh, yeah. I know I've tried this before and I do like it. So... Tahini ranch dressing, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you try it, and thanks for stopping by. Hi, everybody. Uh, today, hey, everybody, thanks for showing up. Today I'm going to show you something really fast. It's called Everything Bagel Seasoning. Now you know that stuff that comes on top of Everything Bagels? They tell you what's in this. And I use this for um, meat. 
to um, uh, season my meat before I cook it. So, basically what's in here is poppy, uh, sesame seeds. Use half white and half black sesame seeds, which is what I have here. Uh, two tablespoons of poppy seeds, one and a half teaspoons of dried minced garlic, and one and a half teaspoons of dried minced onion, and one tablespoon of sea salt. Uh, so, what we need to do is get a bowl, and inside we need to put two tablespoons of sesame seeds. One, two tablespoons of sesame seeds. Now, next is two tablespoons of poppy seeds. is one and a half teaspoons, sorry, one and a half tablespoons of dried minced garlic. tablespoons of dried minced garlic. This is garlic. One. And a half of garlic. And then it wants one and a half tablespoon of onion. Okay, so one, and this is one half of a tablespoon of onion. And then it wants one tablespoon of salt. And there you have it. The secret ingredient to everything bagel seasoning. Now, I get stevia in these convenient, cute little bottles, okay? And basically what I've done is I keep these bottles because they have a pourer on one side and a shaker on the other. And what I've done is I've gotten my label maker and I've labeled this as everything bagel seasoning. So I keep it in here and I find it very convenient to like I said, I put this on um, I put this on meat to season my meat before I cook it, and I really I really enjoy it. I don't find it I I, I mean if you like everything bagels, you're gonna love this stuff. All right, so you put that in there. And like I said, I keep the shakers from my stevia because it makes a great shaker for my 
everything bagel seasoning. All right, so yeah, you can just sprinkle this on your meat, or if you make the uh, paleo of the keto bread, uh, you can probably put some of it on that. Everything bagel seasoning, everything you can eat, okay? Real fast, real easy, made with love. Thanks for stopping by, guys.